Hello and welcome to Value Chain News Update. I am Adalvio Guijafo with the news. In commemoration of Nigeria's 63rd independence anniversary, the federal government has declared Monday, October 2nd, a public holiday. The Minister of Interior, Dr. Olubumi Tunji Ojo, declared this in Abuja, stating the government's commitment to tackling challenges facing the nation. Some Abuja residents who spoke to Value Chain TV said they are optimistic that the country will surmount its challenges, but a lot needs to be done to get to the promised land. Nigeria is progressive. Independence is good. I'm very happy for that. Nigeria is well developed because we have a university, a commercial area, is well progressive. So we are very happy about the independence. Because there's railway, good road, well, it's better, it's good. Nigeria is very okay. Independence, truly, but looking at it, we are not truly independent in our economy, and even security-wise, we are not truly independent. So we're just independent based on name, but, you know, uh, going forward, looking at the, the look, colossally, taking a colossal look at what's happening in this country, we are not truly independent when it comes uh, to the governance of this country. The increasing spot of kidnapping and armed robbery have become issues of major concern to many Abuja residents affecting businesses and social life in the capital city. The recent attack on a police inspector by hoodlums at his residence in Kabusa, Abuja has intensified safety concerns. Some residents who spoke to Value Chain TV have appealed to the FCT administration and other stakeholders to intensify efforts to fight crime and criminality in the city. We are living amongst enemies. We are our own enemies. One of the days where even as parents, you can send your children around on the streets, but not any longer because of the fear of kidnapping. One of the days where our core members always feel so excited to travel interstate because they want to save their fatherland. But reverse is the case because at the end of the day, they come back with bad news. So here in Abuja now, we are facing most of challenges now. And here, life camp here presently now, like this now. I want to even enter more to like this now, but if you enter more to like this now, to anywhere we are going now, you have to be careful. Because you don't even know the motor you are entering, and you don't know the kind of people are inside the motor. Or they are robbing people all over the world like this now, anywhere. Even you enter along or enter park now, you don't even be safe at all. The Minister of State's Petroleum Resources, Gas, Mr. Ekperipe Epo, has urged contractors handling the OB3 gas pipeline project to ensure its completion by December this year. He stated this during a tour of the gas pipeline project designed to run across the River Ninja, conveying gas from the south-south and the southeast to the southwest, and the Ajekuta, Kanu and Kaduna project, among others. The minister told officials of Enicom and HDD Thailand who are the joint venture contractors handling the project that meeting the December 2023 deadline would greatly assist the federal government's aspiration of making gas available as well as address some of the challenges associated with the removal of well subsidy. Dangote Refinery has installed 18 ultrasonic flare gas meters on its pipeline for accurate and reliable flare measurements. Fuenta, the company that handled the installation, said it took more than four months to deliver on the project. It said in a statement that the team implemented an innovative solution on a case-by-case -case basis to ensure accuracy of the system. That's it on News Update. I am Adal Birema.